welcome to Brian's Got Game. I am Brian. Today, I got a game called Alienation. Alienation is a 2-4 player card drafting game by Chris and Corian Lombardi. In this game, players become intergalactic real estate agents attempting to satisfy various alien creatures. Creatures like friendlings, meanies, rowdies, and sleepies, just to name a few. So, let's check it out, and I'll show you how to draft your hand, to build your solar system, and to become the best real estate agent in Alienation. Okay, set up. You deal each player of a sun card, and we're setting up for a three-player game. Um, then you, then each player is dealt a scoring, re uh, score and reference card. And then place the first each card off to the side, and each player gets two cubes of their color. One goes on their sun on the zero, and one goes on the zero of their score track. Uh, deal each player nine cards. You are now ready. Okay. Then you cards choose choose one, and then. Uh, drafting continues until each player has nine uh, has picked nine cards. Uh, let's say that this has happened already. The friendliest player will go first. So you can play a card in your solar system, or you can play a card in someone else's solar system. Play goes clockwise. Next player's turn. So here's some of the cards. So the friendlies is one point per friendly. Um, the sleepies is one point per sleepy unless it's next to a rowdy. Uh, this is a rowdy. Um, you, you get five points if you have the most rowdies out of everybody. Um, second mo uh, if you have four players, you get two points if for the second most. Um, this is a matchies. Um, matchy. Five points for if you have an even number of matchies. These are meanies. Um, minus one point per meanie. Uh, you get three points if you have more than any other race. You can put these on other people's to minus their points. But if they have the most, then they get positive points. Um, and this is the Sunnies. Um, you play them, they score at the end of the game. So at the end of the... So every time you play Sunnies, you move your track. At the end of the game, whoever has the most uh, gets five, six points. This is what it looks like at the end of a round. Okay, so this guy has two matches, so that's five points. Um, they have a mini, so they go back one. Uh, they don't have the most rowdies, because they're tied with this person. Uh, they have three friendlies, so that's three points. And then they have a sleepy that was not next to a rowdy, so they get eight points. So they have eight points total. After, after everybody has scored, you shuffle, and then deal out nine cards to the player to play again. The game ends after three rounds. Play with most points, win. And that's how you play Alienation. Okay, got my dad here for a parent's opinion. So dad, what do you think of Alienation? Alienation <coughs> is a great uh, family game. Uh, it's got card drafting, it's got cute, beautiful artwork, uh, and very simple rules. So I really enjoyed Alienation. Alienation is a really good game. So the components. The box is nice. It's the uh, it's like a card game box, only a little bit wider to make room for the nice, awesome wooden tokens. Yeah, it's a tough box, um, but it's uh, it's kind of square, so it's got room, like you said, for the cards, and then a little bit extra. Um, it is a little hard to open. Um, I would have liked to have seen, you know, a, a box with a lid, um, and maybe if there's enough interest and there's a second print run, maybe that's something that they could do. Uh, the nice wooden tokens. They're wooden and they're colored. 
Um, for the different players? Yeah, for scoring uh, and to count your sunnies, uh, there's the nice wooden tokens, which are good. Uh, also, the cards have a good linen finish, makes them easy to shuffle um, and, and to deal. Uh, so those uh, those are very good. Uh, quali good quality on the card. Our is really cute and it goes perfect with the little space team with the little uh, the space theme with all the little aliens running around yeah i knew immediately when i saw this one on kickstarter that i was going to back it uh uh my kids really like the artwork um and that really gets them into the game um and so the really really good job on the artwork that, that's really what kind of drew me into this one so there's a bit of strategy in it because it's card drafting so you at first First you choose your hand, and then you're going to be playing your hand, but some things might change in your original plan because other people can play on yours. <laughs> right, you, other people can play in your solar system, and you can play in other people's solar system. So, right, uh, the, I really like the little uh, the card, that the reference card. So each of the creatures has different scoring, um, and so depending on how the round plays out, uh, you're right, there's some strategy going on there. Um, you know, proximity to other monsters, Quantity of monsters in yours, uh, you know whether you have even numbers, uh, or maybe you want to stick it out for the long haul and, and get more sunnies and yeah, try like to score it. points at the end of the game rather than in each round. On uh, one of my rounds, I played sunnies and then I played a few of the others, but other people played meanies, so I ended up with zero points. But I got a <laughs> head start for the for six the, at the end. Yep, yep, and, and um, I I think this does play very differently with two players uh, versus three and four. Um, so, you know, when you played Sunnies I mean, in a two-player game, you know, maybe that, at the end of the game, you get six points. Um, but in each round, you can get way more than that in a two-player game. So, um, you know, maybe that going for the Sunnies is something that, that you would do in a four-player game. Um, so we'll have to try that out when we get uh, four people around. We did play with three, so that was good. Pretty easy for kids. Um, it really, it's really awesome with the artwork, so... They're playing cards, um, though it's not for the little, little ones. Cause yeah, so, I mean, there's two things you can do on your turn. Play a card on yours or play a card on somebody else's. So, so it's simple. <laughs> really easy rules. Simple, but the uh, what the cards do. Right, so the drafting part. Uh, you, we did have to explain um, uh, to the younger ones what each of those did. So when you're trying to do your drafting, mm -hmm. you kind of have an idea. Why would I take a rowdy? instead of taking a sleepy, you know, that, that yeah. type of a thing. Um, but there really is no reading, um, so that's a plus. Everything just with the pictures. Um, I guess they do have their names on there, but you what? can recognize uh, yeah. which aliens they are uh, after a while. So um, I, I think this is a good one for all ages, uh, especially families that game. Overall, it's a really good game. The components are really nice. The artwork is beautiful. The, there's strategy, nice strategy. Um, these are for kids. We two thumbs up. Yeah, this one's perfect for me because I'm a sucker for card drafting and I love art. So uh, this, you know, did both of those and, and got those for me. Um, this one is a lot of fun, um, and I think we're going to keep this one around for a long time. Thank you for watching Brian's Got Game. Send us a tweet at Brian's Got Game. Like us on our Facebook. Send us a, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brian. This is my dad. See you next time. Alien mission.